These niggas they missing it. These niggas they missing it. Stop with that rent and shit. Go to the dealership, Tyler been getting it. These niggas they missing it. Stop with that diss and shit. Here we go. What's going on, y'all? We here today with. Taliban time. What's going on? Yeah, Taliban time. What's going on, man? Yeah, so, what's going on, man? So first off, man, um, I know you're from the DMV area. So what part exactly of the DMV are you from? Um, I was born in uh in Southeast, but um, I'm from like Fordsville area, like Walters Lane. That's my that's my area. You did. Okay, Walters Lane. So yeah, for the people who aren't from the area, how would you describe the area? I mean, it's ratchet, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the trenches. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just the trenches. That's how you explain it. It's the trenches. It's definitely the trenches. Like, everything goes on out there. All kinds of things, all kinds of crimes and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know what I'm saying? You know, you survive it, you become a better person. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay. All right. So, how long did you live around there? Uh... I lived around there since I was like five years old, so I lived around there probably like 20 years of my life. You know what I'm saying? Then we moved, stopped moving around, but I say like 20 years of my life. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, okay. 20 years. So, for the people out here who aren't from the DMV, um, what can you tell them about the music scene or what's going on? Um, everybody right now, man, it's popping, man. Everybody, I feel like if you're a musician right now, it's the perfect time to get into the music scene in the DMV because people started taking notice, you know what I'm saying? You got different artists, uh, you know, associating with, you know, people, known people and people that's known nationwide, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Right now is the time or whatever to, to, to if you got talent, I mean, everybody just can't do it, but if you got talent and you got a passion for it, you know what I'm saying? Right now, you know, why not? You know what I'm saying? Anything involving media, so yeah. Okay, okay. So speaking on music, yep. Uh, do you you have a new project coming out out here? Yeah, I got a new project. Me and my man, uh, me and my man D Wright. His Instagram is at who is D Wright. Um, we got something in the works right now. It's called uh, Half Woke. You know what I'm saying? We not we don't have no release date for it right now, but you know we got a couple of singles coming out dropping soon. So yeah, that's just it. You know what I'm saying? Be on the lookout for that. I might do some side stuff. I'm not sure yet, but just be on the lookout for that. Okay, so you said the the title of the mixtape was Half Woke. Yeah, Half Woke, man. So why did you decide to name it that? I mean, because, you know what I'm saying? Because Half Woke to me, it means like, you know what I'm saying? Like I was born in the trenches and I I, I was around all that kind of stuff. I, all, you know, all that kind of stuff in the trenches, you know, the the... the the ghetto stuff and all that stuff, I was around all that, you know what I mean, but at the same time I'm still conscious and I understand what's going on, you know what I mean, with our, our, our people, our society and everything, you know what I mean, so, you know what I'm saying, so I, I it half woke being as though like, you know, they say when you woke, you conscious and you aware of everything around you, so you know what I'm saying, so I'm just trying to say that, I got one foot still in the street stuff, you know what I'm saying, then one foot and being woke and just being conscious in a conscious uh, community. Okay, so growing up uh, in on Walters Lane uh, mm -hmm. in, in the DMV, yeah, um, was it hard to keep that one foot on each side and stay s straight and narrow? I mean, no, you know, what I mean, back in the day, I used to be in the go-go's a lot, so you know, what I mean, so you know, it's a lot of stuff that come with the go-go's and all that stuff, that whole community and everything. You dig? So like. I was I was young and wild. I was young and wild. You know what I'm saying. I was out there, you know, acting up. But you know what I'm saying. Like when I started having kids, like I got kids, so you know, that made me realize. You know, I had to look at myself and examine myself, and you know what I'm saying. Just you know, do something different, and you know, get away from all that. Try to get a, a better setting for my kids. You know what I'm saying. So right now it's not really a problem. Not even into all that nonsense right now. But you know what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. So for the people who who not from the DMV? Can you explain to them uh, a little bit what GoGo -Go is and what's a GoGo -Go like? Oh uh, yeah, okay. So GoGo -Go, man, it's really hard to explain, but it's like uh, you know, it's like live music. So you go to a live, it's like a live music venue, and they got bands and stuff. The bands get on the stage, they play, 
uh, you know, using like, you know, all kinds of instruments. They got drums, you know what I'm saying? Then it, it's really hard to explain. You got to look it up on YouTube or something. But, you know, when you're inside of Go-Go, that energy is like unparalleled. Like, it's nothing else like it. I don't think I've ever felt energy like in a Go-Go, you know what I mean? So, it's just like, you know, you got, you got people from all over the place. And sometimes, you know, that's a bad concoction, putting all those people in one room. Uh, you got people from opposing neighborhoods all in one room and when they get in one room, you know, it's a volatile situation and anything's bound to happen. So a lot of times it's, it's either ended by fights or, or by the police coming in there, you know, sometimes it's ended by gunshots or whatnot. So, you know what I mean? So it's real. If you're going to be involved in it, you got to be like, you got to be built for it. Right now, it's not like that no more, but back in the day, it used to be real grimy. It was a real dirty scene. It wasn't really mainstream, you know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, just like that. Okay, okay. So I listen to your music. And yeah. Your music is good music, and it's a lot of energy and really hype. Yeah. Some would say, you know, similar to uh, the Go Go. So do you think there's a, a direct uh, link between that? Between the Go Go and my music? Yeah, the the energy that you bring. Uh, I mean. You know, like once you hear Go-Go, you can never unhear Go-Go. So I would say it's a, you know what I mean, you know, I, I draw some kind of, you know, some kind of, I get some kind of inspiration from that, that area. Go-Go, it was a big part of my life. So, you know what I mean, it's, it's probably to the point where I'm emulating and I don't even realize it. You, you see what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. yeah, so definitely Go-Go is always, Go-Go was near and dear to me. So, yeah. Okay, okay. So... So what do you think about some of the other artists in the area? Do you have some favorites? Oh yeah, or? man. Everybody doing their thing, man. I like a lot of people, man. I like uh, uh, Gunu, you know what I'm saying? Like he from he from around the way too. He from that area. Gunu, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, Q the Fool. Um, it's a lot of people out here doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? I just just started listening to Big Micho. Shout out to him. Uh, he got that song Barbie. That joint is fire. It's a lot of people, man. It's a lot of people, man. Okay, okay. So, uh, I just want to go back to your mixtape. Uh, yeah. You said it's coming soon. Well, how soon can do we have to I wait? Mean, or what can we expect from okay, it? Okay, so it's definitely coming within, I'm going to say, I'm going to say the next, I'm going to say three months for sure. Um, right now, we just working out the kinks, me and uh, my brother D. Right, you know what I'm saying. We just working out the kinks. Um, we just we just hit in the stew every day, man. You know what I'm saying. Just working, working, working. So, you know, we, I don't know when it's coming exactly, but at the same time, you know, I know that the way we working it, it's coming soon for sure. Definitely, you did. Okay, so how would you describe the sound? What can the fans expect when they when they listen to this mixtape? I mean, so the thing is, you know, D. Wright, my brother, he's like more of a, you know what I'm saying? I'm 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 the flashy one. I got all the, you know, all the bright colors and stuff like that. My man D. Wright, he's more the laid back, you know, plaid shirts, slacks kind of dude. So we playing off of that and, you know, we got opposing styles. Like at the same time, I'm going to be all aggressive and, you know, he's going to come in real smooth. But both of us got bars at the same time, so... You gonna always hit bars. It's gonna be bars regardless. But uh, you know what I'm saying. I just it's gonna be it's gonna be real smooth, real. You know we are gonna have the trap songs for the people that love the trap song. We have the lyrical songs for uh, the people that love the lyrical song. You know what I'm saying. So and you know we might have a feature for my brother Joseph Summers. You know what I'm saying. So we just gonna do it. We just we just working right now. So you know when it when it gets close to that time, you'll know all about it, man. Okay, okay, that's what's up. We're looking forward to that. Yeah. So, how long have you been rapping, and who who would you say were some of your inspirations early on? Uh, I've been rapping since I was like 12 years old, and um, all I used to listen to was um, Dipset. That's that's the biggest inspiration. Dipset, Dipset, the Diplomats. I used to listen to them. I have all that stuff. <clears throat> for real, for real. Anybody on uh. Rockefeller, I used to listen to him, you know what I'm saying? So, Jay-Z, Benny Siegel, all that stuff. But Diplomats was the biggest part. G-Unit. Uh, I'm, You know, I listen to all the old, I listen to everything for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? I listen to Sam Cooke, anything. I'm real music-minded, you know what I'm saying? So, this even before everybody started blowing up here, I was already rapping. I got a mixtape from back in 2013, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't really good, but I got one, you know what I'm saying? But, um... Yeah, man, I, it's a bunch of people that I look up to, Nas, man, 
I don't know, man. I don't want to even say too many people. It's, yeah, man. I'm just leaving it at that. Okay, okay. So what about for the new school? How do you feel about the new wave of rap that's coming out oh, that yeah, a lot man. of people call mumble rap? Uh, yeah. Man, I, I mean, I put it like this, man. See, because I'm still in my 20s, so I can understand, like, a lot of people saying that, you know, the older people hating on it and everything. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But I, I could dig it. You know what I'm saying? I like it. I like it. I, I like music. I feel anything, you know, somebody, I can feel that somebody put effort into, even if it sounds to the next person like it's mumbling, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's like some trap stuff, people say, you know, rap about everyday life. Maybe that's what's going on in their life. You know what I'm saying? So I, I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I listen to 21, 21 Savage. That's one of my favorites. Uh, I listen to Lil Uzi Vert. Anybody you name, I listen to Kodak, you know what I mean, Yachty, anybody you name, I'm pretty much listen to. Okay, okay. So, so just just in closing, um, what's what's one last thing you want the people to know about yourself or know about your music or what what do you have coming for or anything you want to say, man? Uh, no, nah, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Just keep add me on Instagram. It's uh at Taliban underscore Ty. Add me on uh uh Twitter. At Taliban underscore Ty underscore, you know what I'm saying? That's it, man. You know what I'm saying? Just be on the lookout for some stuff. We got some stuff coming. My brother D Wright at Who Is D Wright, you know what I'm saying? My brother uh, Joseph Summers gonna be on the tape too. At uh, Joseph Summers on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? We just we just coming, you know what I'm saying? Shout out everybody, everybody back home. Shout out my mama, you dig? Shout out Melo, my man Mo. That's it. Niggas they missing it. Niggas they missing it.